YouTube, it's me again, Gravity of Natalie, back here with another video. So, alright, I am vlogging today. I'm in my bedroom right now. Um, today is going to be the start of an 8 to 10 week workout challenge. And I'm going to complete this challenge wearing none other than the j Scope belt. Um, so the way I'm going to do this workout is, um, I'm going to start out wearing the J-Sculpt workout from about seven o'clock in the morning to three o'clock. Cause that's my work schedule. And that's when I get out of work. Um, immediately after getting out of work, I'm going to attend the gym and complete my workout. Um, I will include the workouts down below okay another thing I forgot to mention I currently weigh about 162 pounds um, I'm wearing the J-Scope belt and uh, my bust is uh, 36D so what I plan for my goal is to pretty much trim down my waist my problem areas is underneath my belly button and my love handles. Um, yes, I'm skinny, but I have no abdominal core strength and I don't really have muscles either. So let's get it. Okay. Okay, so I just got out of work and I'm at the gym now. Um, hopefully there's no class going on here and I'll show you guys my stretch routine. So stay tuned. because it was entirely too many people in the gym and I don't have a tripod for my phone yet so the angles just wasn't there sis um I did wear my J-Skull belt like I said the entire day from 7 to 3 and I went to the gym 
after I got out of work and I left there at about four, uh, a little after four. So I was there for at least like an hour and a half to two hours. Okay, so I haven't taken the J-Sculpt belt off yet, so I'm gonna show you guys. Um, excuse the sweat marks, okay? <laughs> All right. Okay, so this is my waist from the front, okay? And my waist from the side. All right. Oh, okay. All in a day's work. The sweat is real. You can't. Oh, J. Yeah, actually, you can't see it on my door. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Like, that's how serious it is right now. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, so, this is how we're looking right now. I still, like, I'm thin, but this is, like, my problem area near my belly button. But, um, yeah, I am going to push myself to try to complete a eight week challenge. Um, it consists of like different types of circuits, whether it's upper body, upper, mm, can't even talk, upper body, lower body, um, abs and arms. Um, I do notice that since I've been wearing the j scope belt, I don't have the crease as bad as I did like back here I don't know if you'll you know hold on let me let my arm relax but it used to be real like noticeable right here and now it's not as bad another tip for my busty girls out there make sure that you get a sports bra that actually fits you because I had to um, go to Plato's Closet. I, don't, I know people from other states are watching that. It's kind of pretty much a consignment shop. And um, people donate their clothes. And you can go there and buy clothes and just wash them. So that's actually where I got this Nike sports bra. Um, this is actually in a size large. Because I noticed that before when I would wear sports bras when with my J-Sco belt. Um, it pushes my bust up really high. And... When I have the really tight, you know, sports bra on, thinking that the tighter the sports bra, you know, the more secure I would actually be. That's actually not true for my case because um, I feel like my bust is like small for for majority of women, but at the same time, it's like the width of the breast, I guess. Um, like I have side titty, like right there, and I actually had to get a large in this. Um, nike sports bra it doesn't have any cups i actually don't like cups i feel like it's artificial and it makes your boobs look weird when you have a sports bra on especially when they're over um a c cup like mine are i'm a d sometimes a double d depending on what it is because i have a small waist um but yeah this is my stomach today and we're just vlogging yeah so let me know what you guys think about this video um, stay tuned to more upcoming videos about fitness and thanks guys.